Yo guys, it's your homie Xenopane. I'd like to welcome y'all to one of the Black Desert Online video and today we're going to be going over the best armor and the best weapons aka the meta of Black Desert Online currently on Xbox One and we're going to be going over the viable options of other said armor and weapons for each character in class. I'll be using my Dark Knight as the example but it's pretty much the same for all classes and I'm also going to reiterate as well that the armor is just based off personal preferences. Once you guys get the armor to plus 15 or pry, the DP doesn't matter all that much. It all depends on the sets, the set bonuses that each armor and accessories can give you. So it's all based off of preferences because I'm tired of seeing this question pop up all over the place, the Reddit, the forums, and even in chat. What is the best armor for my character? What is the best weapon for my character? So we're going to go ahead and explain all that in this video. So let's bounce into the video folks all right guys we're gonna go ahead and jump into the meta builds of black desert online for the xbox one in the weapons as well but that's going to be in the next section right now we're going to go over the meta armor as you guys can see i have a plus 15 grenell helmet the grenell set is a very valuable option for every single class and the reason for is because when you guys get a two set effect all hp plus five three set effect max hp plus 150 and you also get a four set effect all ap plus two giving you the sum of all ap plus seven together with a full set but that's totally up to you a lot of people do do this option and it is meta in the game currently as well as having a set of heave armor the meta currently for a lot of classes is two and two and the reason for is to get that plus five ap option for your attack power and also the plus 250 from the heave that's why people run two and two so you guys can be tanky while putting a lot of damage output but the reason why the heave is also meta currently is because it gives you like i said the two set effect of match hp plus 250 also, another viable option is to go a full set of heave, which would also give you plus 300 max HP as well. And then obviously you'd want to reform it and plus 15 it as soon as possible. We do also have the new boss armor that has dropped from the field bosses. Those are also very viable options and in most cases probably the best option for each and every single class. But that takes time to farm. And that's just for another video guys because that's just on a whole spectrum of different things. So so, and also guys, just a little tidbit, if you guys are wanting to check your effects, if you guys are seeing that you guys are getting the plus 5 and or plus 5 DP of AP, you guys can go ahead and RB over to my information from your inventory and use your right stick to scroll down here in the bottom right hand corner and it will tell you all the effects that you are currently getting from your armor and accessories. Other than that guys, we're going to go ahead and jump into the meta weapons currently for each and every single class. Alright guys, now we're here at the meta weapons for Black Desert Online for the Xbox One and the meta weapons currently for the Xbox One version of BDO are the Kazarka weapon and the Liverto weapon. The Kazarka weapon can be obtained at the Serendia Shrine southeast of Gilsh and Liverto weapon can be obtained through boss drops either through guild boss summon scrolls and or other summon scrolls that are obtained through black spirit and the reason for is kazarka is the best option for every single class but that's if you have the time and patience to farm it and or the time and patience to farm the millions of silver that it cost in the cm and hoping that you can get the Kazurka weapon and the reason for this weapon being the best is because it is yellow and it gives you an extra damage to all species plus 10 attack speed plus 3 level and this is the base form of the Kazurka it does get stronger as you enhance it Loverto is the second piece of weapon that is the most viable under the Kazarka, and the reason for is because it gives you extra damage to all species plus five critical hit plus three these are a beast in pvp and both of these weapons are also a beast in pve these are the weapons you guys want to go for whether it's silver and or farming these are the only weapons currently in the xbox version of black desert online that you want to aim for for the best of the best weapon for your class Loverto is the second best and you guys can go ahead and stay with that if you feel like especially if you feel you can never obtain a kazurka but if you guys have the option 
to get the Kazurka, get it as soon as possible. Now that we're done with the meta weapons for every single class, we're going to go ahead and jump into the other weapons that you should be using if you don't have the silver to purchase these weapons and or if you don't have the time to farm the world boss for the Kazurka weapon and or the Laverto for the summon scrolls. And I would also like to reiterate again is that this is all preference, guys. This is entirely up to you and how you play the game. You guys can get examples from people and asking what the best armor and the best weapons are for your class. But when it comes right down to it, it's just how what your style of play is. So now, guys, we're going to jump into the armor section of other viable options other than the Grinnell and Heave. Now this part of the guide is for people who don't have time to farm the Grinnell and or Heave and just happen to come across these other sets. Also having two sets of armor is actually viable as well. And the reason for is currently we have the armor of Hercules of Might. Yeah, the meta is Grinnell and Heave currently aside from filled boss drops of that type of armor. And the reason for is because what the Hercules of Might armor set does, it gives you weight limit plus 150. So if you're planning on being a merchant later and later on into the game, it allows you to carry more weight. This is a great option and when you guys enhance it, it'll still give you the pretty much around the same dp as grinnell and heave then we also have the luck armor of fortuna this is when having two sets comes into play say if you guys are out and you guys are gathering farming you know for for a specific item and the drop rate for that said item is hard to obtain well with this armor with a two set effect gives you luck plus two and luck plays a major part and role in you getting that said item to drop it just increases your chances slightly and it's a good option and as well as you enhancing it will give you right around the same dp grinnell and heave will give you but when it all comes push to shove, Grinnell and Heave are the better options for PvE and PvP. And then we also have the Talus Armor of Agility. If you guys are not into horses or mounts, for whatever reason it is, this armor will give you movement speed plus one at two set effect and a max speed of plus two giving you a sum of plus three movement speed at a three set effect so for the people who do not want to you know run slow or don't have a mount for some reason uh this is the armor that you would use for it but these are all viable uh, viable options to use when not having grinnell and or heave or other field boss armor drops this is what i recommend for you guys it just depends on your play style now we're gonna get into the weapons to use if you guys are don't have enough silver to purchase these and or haven't just had luck of them dropping now we're into the weapons that are vi viable to use other than Kazarka and Laverto. This is for the people that don't have the silver to purchase those two weapons and or the time to farm up those weapons or just gotten really unlucky. And the two weapons that you want to use for any given class depending on what you're doing is the Bears and Yuria weapons and the reason for is because bears will be your pve option your pve option is extra damage to all species plus five the bears weapon is a very good weapon for you people who are pve only and will also fare well against you know in a pvp matter if you guys have to defend yourself but if you guys are looking to do pvp at later levels level 50 plus you guys are going to want to get the urea for your character and the reason why you guys want the urea for your character is because it does additional damage to humans plus five so that applies for pvp scenarios so these are the two weapons that you guys want to get if you guys don't have the silver and or luck to get the laverto and kazarka weapon now guys we're going to go over accessories and the accessories that you guys are going to want is if you guys are on the thrifty side bears if you guys are on also the thrifty side again yuria's necklace because it also gives you additional damage to humans plus four these are options aside from the ogre ring and which is earrings also guys if you guys do have enough time to farm you guys could go ahead and get the Ursula crimson 
AI set. And what this set will give you is a max HP plus 300 and all accuracy plus 20. This can be farmed. It's in the patch notes. You guys can check it out. Um, and it tells you where to get them. You guys can get the necklace at Abandoned Iron Mine, the ring from Helm's Post, earrings from Helm's Post, and belt from Elric Shrine. And this accessory can be enhanced. And the way you guys enhance it is by getting a weak version of the full powered Usla Crimson set. So, so you guys, what you guys are gonna want to do is farm these sets from those given places because the this is probably one of the better options for certain classes because it does give you that AP and that DP as well. As you guys could see here, also we do have the Treant Spirits Hope Belt as well, which gives you a five five. If you guys get this set, this set will give you a weight limit of plus thirty and all damage reduction plus five at set three and will also give you an additional weight limit plus 100 these are all viable options when it comes to accessories coming from the standpoints from not using the ogre ring and or witches earrings and amongst other things so what you guys should be looking for if you guys are looking for a ap type esque build is the crimson eye set and if you guys are looking more for a dp option you guys want to look towards other accessories the ogre is the ogre ring which is a necklace is a good option but that's totally up to you especially if you want set bonuses that are easy to farm instead but other than that guys now that we have gone through pretty much everything that you will need to prepare yourself for either pvp or pve I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to smash that like button, and if you guys want more Black Desert Online content, MMO content, gaming news, don't forget to subscribe, especially if you guys are new here. Other than that, your homie Xenopain out. Peace.